What's up fam? Welcome to I Speak Organized. Today I invite you to join me as I declutter and organize my bathroom. We're preparing to move to a new house in just three months and I know some of you might think that that's quite a long ways away. Why are you already getting started? on the process of getting ready to move. Great question. As a professional organizer, I help clients get ready to move very often. And I always try to start two to three months prior to the big move date. And the bathroom is one of my favorite spaces to start with. It's generally a smaller space in your home. You can be more objective and I'm gonna share lots of tips and ideas for how to go about the decluttering and organizing process along the way. And this is also perfect timing and I'm sure you can relate because it's just after the holidays. My bathroom has totally exploded with new products and gifts that I've received. Nothing fits in the systems that I've created. My drawers are overflowing and some of them can't even close entirely. It is driving me nuts. So it's time for a purge anyway. So if this is something that you need to do, I invite you to get up and declutter and organize along with me. I've got lots of info to share with you, so stick around and let's get into it. What's up, speaker fam? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melanie Summers. I'm your professional organizer, decluttering expert, and productivity-based life coach. I like to speak organized to give you the tools to conquer your clutter, live life with more purpose, and learn all about the business of tidying. Friends, do me a favor, look at the screen of your device. However you're here today, tap that little subscribe button. It would be such an honor to have you as a member of the speaker fam. And I put out new content on the YouTube channel and my podcast, which I share on this channel as well, every single week. So whether you're here looking for inspiration to get some decluttering and organizing done, or you're looking to start your very own dream business and become your own boss as a professional organizer, I'm your go-to gal. I've got tons and tons and tons of content and resources to share with you. So be sure to subscribe, tap that thumbs up. It helps my channel grow to reach more amazing people just like you. And be sure to tap that notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever I upload something new. Instagram and Facebook are a great place to hang out with me at I Speak Organized for your daily dose of organizing and decluttering motivation. I also do product reviews there and it's a great place to stay up to date when I post new content here. So why would you declutter before you move? You're just gonna be packing stuff up and moving anyway, so why not do it all at the same time, right? Well, let me tell you, moving is one of the most stressful things. Downsizing, life transitions, it's a very stressful phase of everyone's life. My joke is that it's almost as traumatizing as childbirth. I've worked with tons of families, including a lot of military families that move really often and having a streamlined process of packing and unpacking, figuring out what to do with all of the stuff that accumulates in your space is so, so important. Even if you're not moving, this is a great exercise in determining a good in and out flow for all your stuff and determining what really deserves to take up space in your home. So here's a couple mindset shifts to keep in mind as you encounter some resistance or roadblocks in your decluttering journey. Decluttering before a move is a chance to honor your memories from an old space before starting fresh in a new space. You're revisiting all of these things that have just been sitting in the back of a cabinet or the bottom of a drawer gathering dust and you get to reminisce and think about all of the memories tied to that item before you release it and move on to a new chapter. This is also a chance to evaluate if the things in your home represent who you want to be moving forward. In my case, my skin has totally changed in my 30s and I have a lot of skin skincare products that don't really suit me anymore. They're perfectly good, but I'm not able to use them. And I have hair tools from different phases of hairstyles. You know, I used to have bangs and so I have a small flat iron that I do not use. So these are perfectly useful things, but they're not useful to me. And they're especially not useful if they're just sitting around waiting for that ideal moment to potentially occur to be able to use them. So I encourage you to think about whether you're actively engaging with things and think about donating them or recycling them 
releasing them so that other people can get value out of them right now. Whew, okay fam, I'm already exhausted, so I wanna share my favorite energy supplement with you. I'm about to drink it right now to give me a little bit of a pick-me-up in this process. This is Magic Mind, it is absolutely amazing, and if you followed my journey at all, then you know that I quit drinking caffeine almost two years ago, and it is largely due to replacing my super heavily and overly caffeinated beverages with Magic Mind. It's a two ounce shot that has nootropics and adaptogens that will help you get focused and energized in a more healthful way. It's best served chilled and now they have their Magic Mind version 4.0, which I'm super excited about. I'll try to pop up a side-by-side -side comparison of their old version to this one. This one has a slightly brighter green color, which I think is kind of cool. And with the 4.0, their formula is newly developed with a nanotech process that breaks down the ingredients to a very small scale, which makes them mix easier. But most importantly, the ingredients get absorbed into your bloodstream so much faster. So this actually used to take about 30 minutes to have a full effect, and now it only takes three to five minutes. It also has a vitamin B complex that improves cellular and brain functions, and they've replaced the honey with agave to keep it sweet, but now it's 100% vegan friendly. If you're like me and you wanna beat that afternoon energy crash and you need a little bit more motivation to stay focused on a task, go ahead and check out Magic Mind down in the description. It's way better than drinking an energy drink or like your 15th cup of coffee. I've got a discount code for you. You'll get 15% off using Organize 20 at checkout. So be sure to click that link down in the description and give it a try for yourself. And as always, I wanna thank Magic Mind for being amazing and for sponsoring today's video. Also look at decor items or things that you've kind of just put out of your mind and really evaluate whether they represent your lifestyle. You may have outgrown certain things and you just keep them around because you're used to them being in the space or you are feeling guilty about letting them go. Now's the time to get a little bit more ruthless and decide whether you wanna to continue to carry that stuff into your new space or you want to donate those things and start fresh with something that makes you feel excited or makes you feel calm, gives you a good response whenever you walk into that space in the future. The last most obvious pieces of this are that you're gonna have less stuff to pack and unpack. You'll have fewer boxes, fewer packing supplies to deal with, and most importantly, less time spent setting up your new space and just Think about your future self, envision how exhausted, maybe overwhelmed you're gonna feel being in a new space, trying to get decent sleep. And if you have less to deal with in terms of setting up, you've done a good job thinning out your belongings, it's gonna take you that much less time so that you have more time to enjoy the new space. All right, fam, so when it comes to figuring out what stays and goes in your space, I'm focusing on three specific categories in the bathroom, and they're pretty straightforward, so it should make it easier to make decisions and make this process move a whole lot more quickly. So the first one is the most obvious, anything expired. So if you're looking through your medicine cabinet, gather together expired medication, first aid supplies, believe it or not, a lot of first aid ointments, even Band-Aids expire and obviously you can use your best judgment. Same thing goes with cosmetics and toiletries and don't forget the products in your bath or shower. The next category of items to declutter are anything that's broken. So if you have trash cans with cracks in them, maybe you don't wanna move that to your new space. Maybe you have old hair tools that don't work anymore that you're hanging on to because you don't know what to do with them. Those can often be recycled. You can take them to Best Buy or you can take them to a scrap metal recycling facility and that way it can stay out of the landfill. And then the third category of items to look at are things that don't suit your lifestyle. Like we talked about earlier, donate those things to someone who can benefit and use that item right now. And I wanted to point out finding the expiration date on cosmetics and some other toiletries can be a little bit tricky because there's not a traditional date on those. Usually there's a symbol at the bottom that looks like a little jar with the lid popped off and it will say something like 12M or 
or 6M, 24M. And so that indicates that once the product has been open, you have 12 months or 24 months until that product expires. If you know you've had something for at least two years or longer, that's typically my cutoff date because that's when those items start to breed bacteria and other things that are just really not great to put on your skin and absorb into your body anyway. Okay, quick progress update. And let's see if you can see down here, I've got my little assistant helping. Uh, there's kind of stuff everywhere, but it's not too bad. I try to do this at least once a year, and so I've gotten pretty good at it, but I have a bunch of stuff that is gonna get tossed. I have some things that are gonna get donated, and I have some recycling here. Lots of expired stuff, so even though I do this for a living, it happens to all of us. Um, I'm not really gonna touch my husband's stuff just because I feel like I'm gonna let him take care of all of that, so I'm just gonna deal with his stuff kind of being a little bit overflowing, but he's really good with the decluttering as well, so I'm gonna let him take care of that. I also keep, if you can see down here, I keep an extra stash of drawer inserts because I use them all over the place and I kind of just play Tetris in the drawers and underneath the sink just to keep things from toppling over inside the drawers, especially with these mesh ones. These mesh drawers are from Ikea and they're really sturdy, but the mesh makes it hard to contain smaller items. So it's kind of a pain, but if you put drawer inserts in them, they work just fine. So that's what I've done with all of my mesh drawers. And I will link to those down in the description below and continue to put some things back. So we're gonna just keep on going. And I wanna make sure to get you up to speed so you can take full advantage of these special offers. It's one thing to set New Year's resolutions and goals, but it's an entirely other thing to have a thoughtful plan that's going to support you in actually achieving those goals. I've made the planning part super easy with this year's purpose calendar. My purpose calendar has 12 monthly challenges to live the life you deserve. Every month has a theme and there's a list of ideas you can challenge yourself to. You get to choose your own adventure. It doesn't matter if you've missed the first months or the first six months, it's never too late to jump in and start living each day meaningfully by building your life around actions that feed your soul. Each challenge is designed to help you rediscover your purpose by uncovering your unique gifts. So fam, what are you waiting for? Click the link down in the description to learn more about how you can take control of your life for 2023 because I don't want you to just exist. I want you to truly live and live well. You deserve it. And fam, if you make it to the end of this video, I've got a sweet freebie for you. So be sure to stick around to the end to find out what it is.
All right, fam, that wraps it up. Thanks again for sticking around. I hope that you got a lot of value out of today's video. There's gonna be more where this came from in this decluttering and organizing to move series. So be sure to check back to the channel often as we're uploading new content every single week. Don't forget to head down to the description of the video to check out all the goodies I have down there for you. I especially encourage you to learn more about Magic Mind if you're looking to infuse a little more health and wellness into your 2023. I've got that discount code down there for you. And if you wanna check out the purpose calendar, the month of January focuses on health, so it pairs perfectly with my Magic Mind supplement. You can challenge yourself to drink less caffeine or cut out energy drinks and replace it with Magic Mind. This is the perfect thing to challenge yourself to for a week and just see if it starts to feel better. Also be sure to join my free Facebook group, whether you're somebody who is looking for organizing and decluttering inspiration and community, or you wanna start your own pro organizing business, that is the place to be with the people to be with. And we're always in there chatting and answering questions. It's a great resource. We have a good time in there for sure. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow along on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We have way too much fun over on those platforms. So be sure to hang out with us there as well. And beyond that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Just kidding. I forgot your special freebie surprise at the end. I have my signature decluttering roadmap for you also down in the description of the YouTube video that walks you through my signature six step process to help you declutter and organize any space or any project. It doesn't matter how overwhelming it may seem. My process from start to finish will walk you through a proven system that will help you get that space or that task under control. So be sure to snag that, my free gift to you, down in the description. And now beyond that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.